Whew. Take a deep breath. I got to inhale, exhale <laughs> before I get started here. Okay, let's go. Guys, this is a big video. We're going to do this anyway. What's up, y'all? It's RC Talks Basketball and Caitlin Clark. On this video, this particular video, we're going to talk Jordan and LeBron. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to take it there. We're going to do Jordan and LeBron. So I ain't going to hold you up. We'll jump right into it. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe. Consider subscribing if you would like the channel to the channel. And, hey, hit that bell for all future notifications. Let's get to it. So what's the difference between Jordan and LeBron? Who's better? Obviously, we know about the finals records. You know, we, we understand that LeBron has 10 losses on his final resume. And we get that. We understand and that Michael Jordan is 6'0". We understand that, too. Um, that's the untouchable record, 6-0. and uh, We understand six finals MVPs for Michael Jordan. You know, we understand LeBron James with his MVP cabinet looking nice and full. Now... We can go so many directions. We can say, well, you know, LeBron James would have never scored eight points in the NBA Finals game. Uh, we could say LeBron James is not taking any time off. Um, he has played, what is it, 21 years in a row? No retirement. Jordan has, uh, you know, due to losing his father or to whatever reasons, Jordan had almost, what was it, like two years off? Um, you know, we could just sit here and say that Michael Jordan's clutch gene is, is, is better, but LeBron has proven to be clutch over the years as well. It, it's taken LeBron longer to be clutch. Um, it's taken him a little bit longer to get the clutch gene, but, um, LeBron is, has always delivered. Um, you know, I remember his, uh, walk-off three-point against Orlando Magic. Um, uh, was it the first game? Um, what, what year was that? They lost that series to Orlando, but I believe it might have been game one or game two when LeBron hit that walk-off three um, from, the, from the top of the key. So LeBron is on. Um, he has been clutch. And, of course, you know, we know MJ to be clutch going all the way back to North Carolina. You can sit here and say Michael Jordan is a cutthroat scorer. He going to give it to you in any fashion um, at any time, especially as the game wanes. You know, we can sit there and say, you know, he is that on-court terminator. LeBron is not. LeBron has the better all-around game. Um, we concede this fact. You have to uh, because LeBron James, assisting, rebounding, uh, scoring, he's he's always been a, a beast at all three facets. So I concede um, rather easily to the fact that LeBron James is like a super athletic Grant Hill uh, type of player and not saying he's because he's actually, you know, of course, better than Grant Hill, but if you got to compare him, um, he's like the cross between Grant Hill and Magic Johnson. So always LeBron had a, a better all around game than, than Michael Jordan. But when it comes just down to scoring, pure scoring, putting that ball in a the bucket, then you got to give it to MJ, you know, marketability. Market, yeah, marketability. Everybody knows these two. Um, commercial wise, everybody knows. Even if you don't even watch basketball, you know LeBron James, and you don't even gotta watch it to know who he is. And it's the same thing with Mike with MJ. You ain't gotta watch no basketball. It was always like that. Um, although I will say that back in the day, Michael Jordan, he had everybody and their mama sitting down and watch the Bulls play. It no matter who you was, no matter if you was a casual casual fan or the ultimate fan it didn't matter um hold on a second guys let me let me hit my coffee real quick okay i'm back just wanted to take a sip but yeah um the thing is man i really i'm gonna sit here honestly because we know that mike um we know that lebron james got the all-time scoring uh record now we know that he possesses that and he probably will possess that for 
Lord knows. Who who knows how long he he's probably going to hold it because he's still playing and still racking up points. And he got the three-point shot going, too, something that Kareem didn't have. Um, Health-wise, if LeBron can dodge injury, there's no telling how many points LeBron going to rack up. Um, and, and Jordan is still in the top top five or top six, I believe. I would have to have to look at that stat. But um, I know I know that Jordan is still up there, even though he's been passed. You know, Kobe passed him, LeBron passed him. But um, you know, I, I want to say this because this how this is how I gotta look at it. who's better, LeBron or Jordan. Well, if we take all the records, we take all the stats. If we put all that inside of a, I'm saying if we if we temporarily just put it to the side, put it all in the cabinet drawers, just put it all to the side, and if we just look at each player, you know it's it's incredibly tough to say because I have to say if they in their primes, you know if they seriously in their primes, it's going to be tough to just clear they just clearly say because you know why because. I think LeBron, his his stature, athletic stature, was just a little bit better than Michael Jordan's. Um, and Michael Jordan, you know, until he put that weight on him, he could be pushed around. So it's all about what time period. Um, if you name the time period, you know, I think that if we was able to say Michael Jordan that probably, you know, when they was winning, they um, like they – a third championship against the Phoenix Suns, I think that version of Mike probably beats LeBron um, depending on what LeBron it is. You know, if it's LeBron um, at his at his prime with, like, the Miami Heat with 2016 when they won, was that 16 when they won with, with Cleveland? Man, that's a hell of a showdown, guys. That's a hell of a showdown because LeBron was doing major things, major, major things, putting up major numbers. So I don't know because it's easy to sit there and say LeBron's going to beat Mike if he's out of his prime. If it's Wizards, if it's Wizards, MJ, LeBron's going to smoke him. And, you know, um, if it's LeBron when he first come into the league, even though he was incredible, I still I still don't know because I feel like at that time he was just too young because – we saw the Boston Celtics, although we know that there was something else at play, um, not Cleveland out of the playoffs. We saw Tim Duncan and his Spurs, absolutely sweet LeBron teams when he was young. So, you know, older Mike gives it to younger LeBron. And, of course, LeBron, older, you know I mean, LeBron, you know, in his prime, he give it to Mike older. But I just, I can't sit here, guys, and definitively, I cannot definitively tell you who's better. I just I just can't do it. <laughs> you know, um LeBron takes his team he has taken his teams with with less players um all the way into the finals. MJ was not quite able to do that. But you gave when Jordan had Pimpin and they they finally broke through, they were unstoppable. You know, LeBron had to leave to get his rings. I don't know, guys. I, I guess I guess ultimately I would I'll probably get Jordan a slight edge. I, I I give him a slight edge over LeBron. Um just cause MJ would cut your heart out, score his mind out. Um he was a winner if he had the right, you know, teammates around him. Nobody wins it on their own. Nobody takes a title home by themselves. Um the closest thing to taking a title home to themselves. It's probably Dirk Nowitzki, <laughs> and he had help too. So I don't want to sit there and belittle his Dallas teammates. That's kind of crazy, but he did have help. But Dirk, Dirk was was really the reason that Dallas got it done. So yeah, you give you give MJ a, a really good team. You know, I think they take it. You know, but if you give LeBron some superstars, I think maybe you know they will take it. So they have. They both have proven to do exactly what I'm talking about: win rings. Um, Give LeBron another star too, at least another star, and they they in there. They in the championship and they're gonna probably win it. And most likely they will. You know, so I don't I don't I don't know. It's it's, it's really a toss up, but a slight edge to Mike. Um, you know, just because I feel like and I hate to keep going here, but damn it, I mean those six rings, man. Like it's the finals records for me. It's the finals records. Um 
just the fact that he's unblemished and LeBron has got 10 finals losses. Um, and then if we just take into consideration that the clutch thing is just a little bit better when it comes to Michael Jordan. And also, I got to say that I can't go LeBron over Jordan because before I get out of here, LeBron don't have a great go-to move. He don't He don't really have a go-to move, just being honest with you guys. So, you know, Mike had to fade away. He might get to the cup. His awareness in terms of knowing when time in the game it is, when to turn up. So I got to go slight in to Michael Jordan. What's y'all thoughts and opinions? Who you got? Who, who is better? Don't don't sit here talking about who's the GOAT. Don't don't I mean, that's not what this is. I just want to know who's the best between Michael Jeffrey Jordan and LeBron James. So what is his middle name? LeBron? Uh Ramon James? I don't know. I gotta look it up. I put it in the uh I put it in the video. LeBron middle name. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. It was nice talking to y'all about this subject, this barbershop subject, this hot take subject that's been around forever who's better so with that being said catch me on the next video guys got some more content coming iowa hawkeyes non-conference schedule got put out gotta talk about that gotta talk about the aces gotta get over to my other page and talk about the buff so i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i'm out y'all peace